the signature apple dumpling, which is like an apple pie for one. And it's easy as pie to make when you learn the secrets from Chef Josh Nally. Show us how it's done, Chef Josh. Well, I like to start off with a nice big Granny Smith apple. I try to find the ones that are about the size of a baby's head. I've heard of U10 scallops and some of these other measurements, but I've never heard of a, a baby's head apple size. Well, that, that's what I grew up with. Uh, <laughs> okay. Working on the orchard, gonna peel it and then core it on our pie dough there that we're gonna wrap it up in. From here, Josh fills the apple with butter and brown sugar. It'll be beautiful when it comes out of the oven. Then we're gonna just fold our dough up over the apple. He gives it a little dusting of cinnamon and then it's right into the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. All right. And let it bake until it's nice and golden brown. Josh, that was the longest 25 minutes in history, so I'm ready to get this thing out of the oven. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Oh, beautiful. Chef, look how beautiful golden brown that is. Then I like to top it with a brown sugar cinnamon syrup. It's one part water, one, two parts brown sugar, and just a dash of, dash of cinnamon. Just cook it, reduce it down until it's a nice syrup. And pour it over. What a topper. <laughs> look at that. Sweet. Josh. Thank you so much for sharing the secrets to this incredible dessert. Thank you, Tim. Jump on board yourself to my old Kentucky dinner train in Bardstown, Kentucky.